Yo, what up, YouTube? So today, we're going to get right into it. Um, there's a method. As you can tell by the title of the video, um, I'm going to be showing you the best, absolute best weapons. Um, well, specifically for Stealth Commando, but these weapons in general, these prefixes, are what you want to look out for for other weapons too, just generally speaking for everyday usage. Uh, but for Commandos, as I, uh, as I mentioned, um, if you really can't afford, like, I mean, sure, if you want to spend $200 to buy a quad fixer or trade eight legacies um, for a quad I mean, that's that's all you, man. If you want to do that, go ahead, be fine. Like, use your quad fixer. That's the best DPS. But if you want raw power, um, just strictly raw power, best firepower, and um, you really don't want to spend money, you don't have that much to trade, these... Specific legendary effects are the best um, and are very not super easy to get, but they're pretty average. They're pretty average, uh, easy to get. Um, and that is the anti armor prefix, um, which ignores 50% of the target's armor, which multiplicatively stacks with. Oh, not what I meant to do. It multiplicatively stacks with tank killer, which ignores 36%. And on general, everyday enemies not bossing, um, this 36% is way enough for any prefix to completely do a big amount of damage to any enemies. Because mo most enemies in this game don't really have that much damage resistance, so this pretty much knocks it almost all the way down. But if you stack it with anti-armor, you're basically hitting near the cap of armor penetration, and this is doing the max damage. And the reason why this does better than Bloodied is because, as you can tell, you know, Pip Boy 132. And we'll equip this. Shoot, not that. Pip Boy 170, that's not a massive difference. The only thing Bloodied has is just Tank Killer. And that is it. And if you're wondering about Stinging Mag, Perforating Mag, um, you can only go so much to the cap, which means that those really don't work and they're pretty useless to use. And we drain more AP. Um, but Bloody only has base damage going for it, which is why the damage nerf was too harsh on Bloodied, because a 30 damage difference is between a Bloodied and non-Bloodied is not acceptable. Like this should at least be like 220. 220 to 250 for a base shoot is good for this enough to surpass anti-armor, but like still be balanced. But it is it is what it is. So anti-armor is what you want. Um pretty easy to get. Um but this one specifically is anti-armor. Vats criticals do 50% more damage um, and the less Vats cost uh, on this. So that critical damage, we're stacking that with um, Guns and Bullets 3, which uh, gives me 30% more crit damage over and above that 50%. And then Blight Soup be giving us another 40% over and above both of those 50 and 30%. Um, and we will switch this out right here. We'll go ahead and switch it out now. Um, we'll switch good with salt because we're going to be doing a boss fight. We'll switch this with uh, quick hands. And we have better criticals too for an additional 30%. So we're going to be getting a lot of crit damage uh, on these targets. So you mix that with anti armor, better crits uh, with this crit damage, you'll be punching out massive damage. And the other prefix we're going to be comboing this with. Alright, you may have caught this in some of my videos and I might not have mentioned it but executioners executioners fixers executioners prefix 50% more damage when targets below 40% now you may be thinking oh man wouldn't zealots be better or wouldn't anything with 50% no the difference between this 50% and the other 50% and the other percentages for prefixes um, other than anti-armor is this is multiplicative so when your target is below 40 percent health you're doing multiplicative damage which if you're new here you haven't had heard me explain this before so as where all the crits are additive so let's say you have 30 percent crit damage another boost gives you 50 percent it would be 1.3 plus 1.5 uh, and then you would get that outcome which is a lot smaller than if it was multiplicative it would be 1.3 times 1.5 um, and with this, with all the damage bonuses, with follow through and tenderizer, well, tenderizer, we're going to be using the shotgun method that I'm going to show how to punch out more damage using a shotgun. 
a method you guys have never seen before, ever, on Fallout. Um, and Tenderizer, we're going to bring Tenderizer to 40, bring uh, Follow Through to 40, and once the target, the Queen, is below 40% health, we will stack another multiplicative 50, so it's going to be 1.4 times 1.4 times 1.5. Um, it's going to be massive. It's going to be doing the most damage at the uh, below 40% threshold, assuming we're still making use of Revenant and all our buffs. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get into it. The combo we're using is Anti-Armor and Executioners for today. Um, you will see me use a quad just to cripple her because 80 rounds, I want to make sure I cripple her because she might not get crippled within 20 rounds. So I want to make sure I cripple the queen faster and make her land, use the quad to get rid of the mob and go back to the Anti-Armor. And start, you know, punching out rounds. So, um, we're going to get into it. I'll launch the nuke, and I will see you go. Oh, and before I go, this is the um, the build. Same as usual, for the most part. I have all my chems, so I need this. But if you don't have that many chems, or you keep them all in your stash, and you take them out little by little, you can swap this out for maybe Barbarian, but that damage resist, if you're using really good armor, is just a soft cap. You're, you're not really doing much, so you could take that. Move it to Endurance if you want to, but for the most part, Traveling Pharmacy, Ventilator is a must because you're carrying Ballistic Ammo and Blocker because of uh, survivability. Um, you can have a full unyielding AP Sneak, uh, HTD armor with a Sneak card, and, and you will not escape a Rad Scorpion or a Mole Rat. They will detect you no matter what. You can never escape them no matter what you do in this game. So if they catch you and the Queen slaps you and you don't have Blocker, you will die. Um, sorry, I hate to say that, but... Your HTD armor is doing absolutely nothing for you, bucko. Uh, and neither is the sneak card. That's doing nothing either. Uh, commando, pretty straightforward. Full here, except we're using we're losing 5%, which is only 2 damage. Because um, uh, it's additive. And then we switched that out for max uh, ground pounder. With, we're using swift magazines, so we're getting super, super quick reloads. In case quick cans doesn't proc, which is super huge. Um, and it just gives you even more DPS. Concentrator Fire, just we can target the head. Life Giver, giving us extra base health is what this does. Um, just in case we get in a sticky situation, because no stealthing is perfect, especially when you got rad scorpions and stuff like that. Um, no stealthing is perfect, so we just give us a little more health to work with. Chem resistant, because we take chems every single queen on boss fight we do. Uh, we don't want to get addicted to something and then lose luck, uh, and then catch the blight and lose even more luck, and then we lose DPS because we're not hitting those crits every second shot. So keep cam resistant. I, I would highly suggest putting this here if the, your endurance is where mine's at. Uh, Revenant, um, if you don't have that much endurance, you only have enough for a couple enough points for a couple of endurance points. Use Revenant. That's for sure what you need. Uh, Fifty percent uh, damage after we pick ourselves up. Um, rejuvenated because we're getting even more base health because we'll be fully fed and hydrated gives us more AP regen. Okay. Tenderizer. It only it says ten percent, but I'm gonna show you a method right here that makes any gun super deadly. Um, if you use a shotgun before you shoot your target, if you just shoot an enemy with a shotgun and hit at least four pellets, you will get the maximum 40% instead of just 10%. And no, it's not additive, it's multiplicative. So 40% multiplicative damage is huge, which is what we're going to be doing. So 40% multiplicative damage for 10 seconds. Nerd Rage, more damage because we're bloody, this is a must. Uh, demo Expert, I just use this so I can down myself quicker um, before the fight to get uh, Revenant active. Um, this is my same character, once again, for my shotgun build, and I carry energy ammo, so I need this here. Otherwise, if you don't have this here, move it. Endurance, charisma, whatever. Gunsmith, I can. I have enough materials to carry me to two more fallouts, but like I just use this just because I'm OCD. I really like to get the most used of my weapon uh, before it breaks. Uh, Sandman, equip this first, and then Covert, and then you get 3.75 sneak damage. Escape Artist, in case we get in a sticky situation again, we just run, get back into Sneak, and we're good. Kung Fu, so when we're mobbing and killing the mob, we just one-tap everything, and we instantly swap between targets and get back to the Queen. Pretty straightforward. Adrenaline, per kill. The reason we're killing mobs is so we can keep our damage up to that 60% extra. Dodgy, sticky situation again. We don't want to die. Dodgy is huge. It got buffed. Your AP no longer keep, keeps getting consumed. It has a cooldown before it can keep getting drained, but you still get the damage reduction during that cooldown. Uh, Bloody Mess, more damage. Tormentor, cripple the uh, Scorch Beast Queen, make her land. 
Better criticals, just more crit damage, charge genes. We don't want to lose our mutations. Crit savvy, uh, mixed with 33 luck, gives you a crit every second shot, which is huge in the damage department. Quick hands, we have a good chance that our gun, which with only 25 rounds, our, if it procs, we get basically 50 shots. It could, it could even proc two or three times in a row, which with anti-armor and executioners is huge. You don't even have to reload it, just instantly loads it, and you keep shooting through your clip. Okay, that's the build. Take a picture. Legendary cards, follow through 40% times, tenderizer 40%, huge damage, it's huge damage right there. Um, and when we get that executioner's out, that's another 50% we're stacking. Um, and this is the rest of them, and yeah, I will see you guys when I get to the queen. Okay, so, let's go ahead and see here, got all of our... Crit buffs active still, we do. Okay, we'll go ahead and quick hands is on. Alright, yep, this is what we got. 1300, and that's not even 40%, that's just, that was just a 10% from Tenderizer. I'm like, wow, this gun is a crit with nothing else active. Over a thousand. Jeez. I mean, I already know how this is going to go. Assuming the queen, you know, wants to be good for the record button. Because, as you guys know who have been here for some time, you know that the queen really just likes to fuck me over sometimes. Um, but, nonetheless, we got to kill these Scorch Beasts. Kill all the ads over here. Oh, a thousand at that range. Jeez. That's still very good. Hit him with four bullets, and we saw 1,400 there, wow. Jeez. Hopefully this goes well, I'm really hoping this goes well, man. I really don't want this to screw up. Like, I'm really mad because two nights ago, I had a one minute run with these two fixers. Perfect one minute, it was perfectly done, everything was so smooth, everything went smoothly and according to plan, and uh, I hit the record button on my Xbox, record it, and it said a clip recorded, but it never uploaded, it never went to the queue, it got lost. The clip completely got lost, and I was so pissed, man. If I could make up for that, that would be great, but if not, I won't be surprised. But nonetheless, we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, wait a little bit longer, and we'll go ahead and do this now. Please revive me, please revive me, please revive me. Boom, thank you. We'll use the quad to get rid of these guys, get their adrenaline rolling. Ah, we miss our first shot, that's fine, she'll come around. A thousand with just a quad. Oh, she feels like doing that today, huh? This is what I mean, this is what she does every time. So this is not abnormal behavior for the record button. Yeah, land your ass, please. Lock on to her. Thank you. Button land. Some good damage, some good damage right there. that damage up, perfect. There we go, see what I mean? Sometimes it takes a while for that thing to kick in. Are we missing something here with damage? Oh, there it is, we were just out of range. Oh, quick hands three times in a row, baby. That's big. That's huge. I don't know if we even got the right one out. Yeah, we did. We just missed the shotgun shot. That's fine. 
I don't even know what the timing was. I really did the scorch piece. Oh, that was at least a minute and a half. Yeah, I think so. Is that a minute and a half? <laughs> Wait, there's no way, right? There's no way that was a minute and a half. Could have been faster or whatever it was because of the beginning, but wait. wait. <laughs> Quick hands just brocked three times in a row, dude. <laughs> There's no way that shit just brocked three times in a row, bro. There is no actual way that thing just brocked that many times. No way. Bro. <laughs> uh, give me that. Give me that damage. Let me just show you what executioners can do. So I can get one of these guys below 40 with the shot. Uh, is that less than 40? <laughs> 28 hundred. We just hit homie with 2800! What the heck? We just hit him with 2800! You'll probably die strictly from that, no? I want the I want to shoot this thing. Can I hit you with four pellets? Yes, I can. This way. You don't want to fly this way because you're an idiot AI. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I mean, it sucks to be a terrible AI, right? It just it must suck to be just built terribly, so terribly. Why do you want to keep sixteen, seventeen hundred on a sports piece? That's out of range. Oof. Oh, there's my buddy. Perfect timing. Perfect timing after. Okay. Well, anyways, um, <laughs> anti armor. <laughs> Executioners. I mean, don't sleep on it because people on the Reddit market and Facebook market uh, really, they, they kind of know the value of anti armor, but they really don't. Everyone's valuing quads. Um, uh, Sort of anti armor, but not really. People are just after quads, um, vampires, like bloodied explosive. People still don't know the true firepower. Like, nobody knows about this technique. The data miner told it to me, and to my surprise and his surprise, nobody else knew about it. Um, and no one's talked about it. Um, like, just like how I used the sneak method with the gosh shotgun in the last video, guess who uploads a video doing the exact same thing after talking to me about it? Tier. Tier uploads this video, um, same, doing the same thing as me, except a little less efficient, uh, but he did pretty good, but he literally copied me. People were talking about Grenadier with Gaunt Shotgun after me, other than Turtle, but Turtle just kind of pulled the Gaunt Shotgun out once and then kind of talked about other stuff. I People are starting to do things after me, and that's kind of crazy to think about. Um, yeah, well, what up, boy? So, I helped one friend get to 200 uh, in three days last week, um, and I'm going to help him get to whatever level get this build. But, hope you guys enjoyed Anti-Armor Executioners. You can either do faster fire rate or better criticals. Uh, I personally prefer faster fire rate, but, you know, it's, it's either or. I, I just got these weapons recently, so I wanted to use them. Uh, my fixer collection is nearly complete. Um, but, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The queen actually decided she wanted to act good for the, for the camera, for the Elgato recording, so which is good. But if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.